The Fenland region of East Anglia, with its wetland environment, has preserved some of the world's most spectacular prehistoric archaeology. Two sites in particular, Flag Fen and Must Farm, close to the city of Peterborough, provide striking snapshots of domestic life in the prehistoric landscape thousands of years ago. In the Bronze Age from around three to 4,000 years ago, the Fenland region was even more extensively covered in wetland environments than today. The first understanding of the potential importance of the Flag Fen Basin's archaeology came in the 1950s, when exploratory drilling led to the discovery of a log boat associated with Bronze Age pottery, found at over five meters below the ground. It was at Flag Fen where the first substantial evidence of prehistoric Fenland archaeology was found. In the 1980s, field walking in the area led to the detection of wooden remains just below the surface, clearly identifiable as prehistoric. Extensive excavations revealed archaeological remains, providing unprecedented insight into the settlements and landscapes of the Bronze Age Fenland world. The archaeology firstly helped understand the nature of houses and settlements from that time, built along the edges of the wetlands. The fantastic preservation also enabled the discovery of a wide range of artefacts within the settlements, including such finds as a pair of shears still sitting in their preserved wooden box, and a portion of a prehistoric wheel. Also revealed was a highly intriguing feature of the Flag Fen landscape, a long causeway composed of over a quarter of a million wooden stakes, stretching over one kilometer across the wetlands. This has been understood to be part of the ritual landscape with associated finds including a range of swords and other personal items. From 2011, three miles away, another new chapter in the region's archaeology was written with the discovery of the site of Must Farm. On the site of a commercial quarry, evidence of an exceptionally well-preserved Bronze Age settlement was recovered. The small settlement recorded had once been suspended above a river channel in the wetlands. For reasons unknown, this burnt down and collapsed into the water, leading to fabulous archaeological preservation, allowing an unparalleled snapshot of Bronze Age life. Thanks to this preservation, archaeologists have been able to detect the complete remains of a series of roundhouses. This includes their main structural elements, but also, for example, the wattle used for walls and floors. A vast range of preserved objects allow us to have the sense of walking back in time within this prehistoric settlement. The spectacular preservation includes bowls still containing food within them, for example, one containing remains of a nettle stew. We also see such finds as string wound onto sticks and a complete wheel, the oldest, most complete wheel recorded in Britain. Additionally, there is evidence of daily life beyond the houses. This includes perfectly preserved fish traps and nine fantastically well-preserved prehistoric canoes. Materials more commonly associated with the Bronze Age were also found, including swords. The preservation at Must Farm, though, provides a detailed view of the Bronze Age world that until now has been beyond our reach. Well-preserved evidence of prehistoric domestic life is seen worldwide. In the lake villages of the European Alps, we see evidence almost directly comparable to Must Farm and Flag Fen. This includes the remains of prehistoric wooden buildings visible at the edges of modern lakes, as well as well-preserved artefacts such as axes with their wooden handles still preserved. Strikingly similar evidence is also seen beyond Europe. Some of the oldest evidence comes from Japan, where complete villages dating back around 10,000 years have been excavated. Here we also see evidence of houses comparable to those from the Fens of the European Alps. And a wide range of artefacts are likewise recovered, including canoes for example, almost identical to those from Must Farm. fantastic archaeological preservation seen at such locations allows us to build up a picture of domestic life across the prehistoric world. <laughs>